Right guys, welcome back to another part of Elden Ring. So, just done the tutorial, and now we're in the open world. We spoke to that dude just then, who looks like he belongs in the Court of Owls from Batman. And he advises we are maidenless, so what we need to do is we need to find a maiden. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to fight that big fella over there, because I've seen from the network playtest how tough he can be, and as I said before, I'm crap at this game. I'm crap at all from software games. I'm still surprised I completed the Demon Souls remake. But anyway, uh, what we need to do is I did go on the map before and it's shown something, but I wasn't recording. So it basically just said this guides us to where we need to go. So just straight up. And here, these little circles here, they're the sites of grace now. I don't know if we can actually. Uh, teleport to them. I assume we can teleport, fast travel, whatever you want to call it. I'm pretty sure we can because you can do that in all Dark Souls, um, Sekiro, uh, Bloodborne. All from software games. That is much easier to say. Why am I making this more complicated? So anyway, let's get to it. So we have got the Sight of Grace going across there. Sight of Grace or whatever it is. The big glowy thing and I don't mean the tree. There's a big tree though. Um, so it is showing us where to go it's guiding us uh let's not jump down that way so do i have to oh some birds actually let's go off the path a bit let's do that let's get some fruit i'm gonna sneak behind these because i have no idea if these can somehow kick my ass that is the thing with these games you don't know if whatever you encounter will kick your ass or if it'll be fine Okay, easy enough. Let's pillage that corpse. So I've got a flight pinion. Is that the right way to pronounce it? If not, I'm sure one of you guys will tell me. So, ooh, rabbit. All right, let's get some more of this. Some more materials. No. Can we use these to craft potions or certain things? It'll be good to find out. Wait, what the hell is that? Is that like a rabbit with a fox tail? There's got to be something around here, hasn't there? Something to collect. There's always something in these type of games that you can collect. Oh, no. No. Oh. <laughs> I got you, bastard. Oh. He just fell off the side. I bet this is someone telling you to jump. I bet. Yep. Try jumping. No, what? I'm going to be a bastard. And I'm going to rate that good. Because why not? But, no. Oh, no. There's me bird down there. My food. Right, let's try and fight that. I think it was called the Tree Sentinel. Pretty sure that's what he was called. We can sneak. I want to get a drop on him. And I want to try and go to the house. Even though he can break down certain buildings in the game. It's, um, it gives me somewhere to hide for about five seconds while, you know, make sure I don't shit myself. Right, quick, don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around. Don't turn around. He can't find us here, can he? I want to move over there, but it's so risky. Should I do it? Might be a bit too late now. Let's go. Okay, go, 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 go. Ooh, that was lucky. Oh, no. He's going to find us, isn't he? He's a big dude. His shield's bigger than me. His shield, not even his weapon. His shield. Oh no. Oh my god. Huzzah! Come on. I won't talk much during boss fights because I'll be focusing on not dying, so sorry guys. Holy shit. Oh! Right, heal, heal, heal. Oh! Oh no! I tried, I did try. I did try. He is a big boy. He is tough. 
Now, do you want to try him again? Or do you want to try do the Sights of Grace? And find our maiden, because I don't want to spend too long stuck on certain bosses. Okay, so upon dying, you'll be revived at Light Sight of Grace. Light Sight of Grace. I just messed up what I said then. The last Sight of Grace that you visited. You'll drop any runes in your possession at the site of your death. If you die again, before reclaiming those runes, they will be lost forever. Oh, great. So I've got to go back to where he is. I mean, I haven't got much. Hang on, is that it? We can get to that. We should be able to get to that. I really just want to kill me first boss. I know he's optional, but... I'm pretty sure a lot of people have actually killed him in the game. Right. Quick, go, 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 go. Crouch and run, crouch and run, crouch and run. Please don't find me, please don't find me, please don't find me. I think while I'm low level as well, make sure he doesn't find us. I think while I'm low level as well, I should take it easy for now. I'll obviously, if we encounter any mandatory bosses, we'll do that. I do eventually want to go back and, I mean, I'm saying that like I'm already dead far in the game. I do want to actually fight all the optional bosses. I think I've done that in Bloodborne, apart from, how do you pronounce it? Uh, Amidala, Amagala, the, in the Nightmare part? I think that's the correct way to pronounce it. I am not sure. But that's the only boss I missed by accident. I've done everything else. Mind you, did that even have many optional bosses? And I think Demon Souls. There's one boss you can skip. I'm not sure which one, though. So, fast travel to Sites of Grace. Through the map, you can instantly travel to any sites of the Grace that you've discovered. However, there are some dungeons and other areas where this cannot be done. Okay. So, this is where you can actually break down um, when you fight him. Oh, there's Santa Claus. Hang on, what do you first? Strengthening ornaments at Smith and Table. You can spend runes and Smith and Stones to strengthen your ornament. Somewhere in the lands between, you may meet a blacksmith who can make your ornaments even stronger. Okay. So we've got a Smith and Stone. Oh my god, look at that donkey. Is it a donkey? Ah, uh, yeah, that's a donkey. Why did they even ask that? Alright, let's talk to Santa. You're a tarnished. I can see it, but I can also see that you're not after my throat. Then why not purchase a little something? I am Kale, purveyor of fine goods. Mm, let's find out about them. Go on. I am of a nomadic people, selling wares as I travel. The land has been tainted by madness since the shattering of the Elden Ring. It's only tarnished like yourself, who keep things from drying up entirely. Let's say you're a very welcome customer. I want his outfit. I want his outfit. A shop menu, you can spend runes to purchase items. You can also sell items. Each merchant has a stock of different variety. Basic stuff. Oh, okay. Chain coif? Cough? Coif? Um, chain armor and chain gauntlets now how do they hold up against my armor that is the question and then we got flask of wondrous physic and waypoint ribbons okay um, so I've got enough money for a leather shield uh, what's that crafting kit um, a telescope that could be handy um, a cookbook um, and a torch what I want to buy is that waypoint ruins because that might give us a new area on the map to show us where to go. And I don't think I've got anything else left, so here we go. You know, if you can spare the runes, you should buy yourself a crafting kit. A crafting kit allows you to make basic items on your own. Essential, really, if you intend to survive out here for any duration. The kit costs a bundle. And I admit, I do take my cut. But the important thing is that you survive. Every customer counts, after all. Okay, so get the crafting kit. I'm going to do as he says. I'm a rookie. He's a seller. Obviously, he's going to try and sell me stuff, but you know. I'm glad you took my warning to heart. You've made an excellent choice. Okay, if you have a crafting kit, you can make various items from materials you find. Select item, craft from the main menu to make items. 
can learn to craft more items by finding cookbooks. So he's got cookbooks available as well. You need craft pots or other containers to craft certain items. You will not be able to make more of those items that you have containers. Okay, so if you have four containers, you can make four of whatever is you're making. That makes sense. So, yeah. Let's have a look. So, we said from the menu. Okay, Sight uh, Grace is leading over that way. So, if I go item crafting. Um, with the item craft menu, you can make various items. Yep, we already know that. So, fire pot, rope fire pot, bone dart, row raisin, rainbow stone, and the finger remedy. Okay, so we can't make that because we haven't got a smoldering butterfly. I don't think there's anything we can actually make. No, they all seem to be greyed out. But what I want to do is if I do this and run back over to that sentinel, I should be able to fucking kill him. With any luck. Where is he? Alright, let's go. I'm going to try and not lock it onto him. I'm just going to try attacking him right away. Here we go. Come on, boy. Oh, shit. Right, where is he? Oh, there he is. That answers my question. Run, 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 run. Run, run, run. Oh, shit, I'm out of stamina early. Ah, run. Oh my god. Run, 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 run. Is he still here? I think he's going to break it down now. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, okay. I thought he breaks it down. Maybe not. And you can't even cheese these bosses by running up, hitting them, and then running away. Because what they do is their health goes back to full if you abandon them. As far as I'm aware. Yep. Oh! Oh no! Oh, come on, man. Come on. So I've got me ass kicked by him twice. Safe to say, for now, I'm going to leave that because at the end of the day, it's going to be a long playthrough if I keep doing it until I beat the boss. So what I want to do though is if I sneak, I should be able to get my whatever it is back. Not souls, runes, that's it. Runes. Tell you what, I quite fancy getting a, um, getting a fancy ass cape because on this game there's some cool clothing. Same with Bloodborne. Bloodborne was, I think people called it fashion born because most of the time um, a lot of people didn't bother using stats um, on the armors. They were just like, oh, this looks cool, I'll just wear this one. Because you could basically, because I th think for some reason it didn't massively affect what you were doing. Like, you know, how you take damage and everything. Unless you're going into, you know, like a swamp or anything, which they have said there is loads of poisonous swamps. Hang on, where's it? Tell me to go. Okay, so it's telling me to go up this way. Ah, I see. But it's telling me to go there. So I can see an enemy there. So it's telling me to go... Okay, so I am going in the correct direction, yeah. No, I'm going the right way. Now, there's an enemy here. We should be able to sneak up to him. Now, do I want to keep using the Halbeard, or do I want to use my sword? Halbeard is good for range, so you don't have to get in as close, but it all depends on what type of weapon they have as well. Yeah, boy! Ooh, got some bolts. Thank you very much. Alright, so if I see that little gold stream telling us where to go, I thought it would still continue along here. Oh shit. A few dudes there. One there and one there. So we'll get him. Alright, sneak and get him now. Maybe not. He found us. Yeah, boy! The combat in the game, it's just something about it. I mean, anyone that plays this will understand what I mean. It's not... They're not really complex stuff. It's not like, you know, you've got 40,000 moves in your move set, but it's just the way everything works with you having to dodge at the right time and stuff like that. It's just... 
it makes the game completely unique to itself. Even though they keep the same formula the whole time, it just makes it completely unique still because there's always something they change up ever so slightly in the games. Like, you then look at it and go, well, that plays different to that, like, completely. Even though it's the slightest change, it's just... I don't know how they do it, but it's amazing. Right, so, where to now? So, have I got to go around here? I don't even know if I'm going the right way. So, if I go and help... No, I'm just going to explore. Might as well. Just explore, see what there is. We've killed a few enemies. I have a feeling the Maiden might be around here. I'm pretty sure when someone was doing a network test, the Maiden was around this area. But we're yet to find out. Maybe it's a bit risky, me going in right away. I should walk around, perhaps. Because it is showing. That is the Church of Ella, Ela. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm so crap at pronouncing stuff. I mean, I've already mentioned that about 40 times. Oh, there's a site of grace. Oh, okay. I think this is where we got our maiden now, then. Ah. Oh, shoot. That's a load of dudes. That is a load of dudes. And that's a big castle. That is a big boy. Right, let's go here. Let's rest there, do our health, um, even though we've only got hit once. Greetings, traveller from beyond the fog. I am Melina. I offer you an accord. Have you heard of the Finger Maidens? They serve the Two Fingers, offering guidance and aid to the Tarnished. But you, I am afraid, are Maidenless. I can play the role of Maiden, turning runes into strength to aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. You need only take me with you to the foot of the Erd Tree. Of course I'm gonna accept that. I need the Maiden. Bitch, I'm not gonna say no. Then it's settled. Summon me by grace to turn runes into strength. Ah. Another matter. I bequeath to you this ring. The spectral steed whistle. Oh yes, we've got a mount. We can do more than just run everywhere now. Yeah, boy. Use it to traverse great distances. It will summon a spectral steed named Torrent. Torrent has chosen you. Treat him with respect. Of course I will. Torrent, my boy. Shall I turn your runes to strength? Let my hand rest upon you. For but a moment. Share them with me. Your thoughts. Your ambitions. The principles you would follow. Hey, okay, sorry about that. I was just waiting until she stopped speaking. So, level up menu. With the level up menu, you can spend runes to increase your attributes. Similar with blood echoes or souls. Each attribute increases your level rises by one. As your level rises, so does the amount of runes required for your next attribute increase. Okay, pretty standard stuff. Okay, so, Vigor, 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 whichever way you want to say it. I'm going to say it as health. So, 
That increases your health if you upgrade it. Uh, as far as I'm aware. Can I even upgrade it? So, hang on. Select at least one attribute to level up. Can I not upgrade it? No. Not let me for some reason. What the hell? Why isn't it letting me? Select at least one attribute to level up. I am trying to do that. Oh, I haven't got enough runes. That's why. Duh. Bye, bad. Okay, horseback riding. Use a spectral steed whistle to summon and ride your spectral steed. If your spectral steed dies, you can summon it again, but it will cost one flask of crimson tears to do so. Okay, so it costs potion to revive your steed, which is fair enough because you're reviving the whole steed. Whereas you can, with that uh, Crimson Tears, you can just bring back a bit of health. So, yeah, fair enough. Dismount it by using the Whistle again, or by pressing left stick. Okay. So, from pouch in the main menu, you can equip sick items to your pouches. Yep, pretty standard stuff. So, let's have a look. So, can we use our Whistle? Hang on. Let me have a look. Do we have to equip it? Okay, with the equipment menu, you can equip armaments, arrows, bows, talents, and items. You can equip up to three armaments, each to your left and right hands. Okay, 